Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to quickly touch on a subject of pointiness in Blender. So this is in regards to the geometry nodes in our shader editor and there is a little feature here called pointiness. Now some of you probably know about this so at this point you could just skip this video but if this is new to you essentially what you can do is isolate um, the pointy areas on a piece of geometry and then maybe turn it into like a black and white map. And then you could use that, you know, for example, to mix shaders like this. So this is all one shader and I haven't had to go and apply two different materials separately. This is all just in this one shader network because we're using the pointiness. So perhaps this is something you'd like to learn. Keep watching and I'll quickly cover it. So to best demonstrate this, let's quickly just get rid of the default cube and let's add in a cylinder. I think that works really good. Um, let's tab in, let's quickly just scale it up like so inside of edit mode and with the edge select Let's just go control R see the little yellow line Just roll your mouse button up a few times add in about this many segments Just click twice and let's go control B to create um, Some bevels and then this is left click and with that active Let's go E to extrude right click and then go alt S and scale that in um, Maybe let's scale it out a little bit something like that and then let's tab out. And with this sort of thing, we want to make sure that it has, because um, at the moment it's got edges, right? We can add pointiness to, but you need to, like there needs to be more topology than this. So one way you can do that is just to go to your modifiers and let's give it a bevel modifier. And uh, let's make it nice and round so it's nice and pointy. Add in some more segments, so something like that. And then let's right click and go shade smooth. And if you wanted to, you can give that a subdivision surface modifier. We only want a quick object to demonstrate pointiness with. So let's not go overboard. Let's go into our shading workspace. And I'm going to work in cycles for this. And I'll enable my GPU. And let's create a material. And I'll quickly explain to you guys how the pointiness works. So here is a standard principled shader. And here is just a basic material. So what we're going to do, we're going to go shift A, search. I'm going to get the geometry node because we're taking advantage of the geometry of this object here. And it has all sorts of cool things here, position, normal, tar um, tangent, stuff like that. But what we're gonna be working on is the pointiness. Let's just grab the pointiness, plug it into the base color here, like so. And then we can go Z, we can go rendered. And uh, if you want to go ahead, shift A, just add in a simple area light, just so you can see what you're doing, give it some strength, increase the size a little bit. So what we're gonna do, is we're going to go over here at the moment it is actually on here but you can't really see it so we're going to increase the contrast by going shift a let's search and get a color ramp node and with the color ramp place it on this cable and now if you drag these two values closer to each other like so um, mess around with it but you're going to start seeing that these two colors are becoming more apparent so you can see we have a lot of white on the outside if i move this black up so I'm going to keep dragging it and then kind of bring these two till I just kind of see the white on the outside border like this. And that's kind of finding the pointiness. So in this case, for me, that's right here. And depending on the object you're working with, um, this could be a little bit different. But for me, dra dragging these values really close together um, gives me this. And if I flip it around, it gives me the opposite. So you can kind of add dirt to the inside if I wanted to using that as a map. But for now, let's just leave the white at the outside. And now we have our black and our white value, which we can use as a map. So let's quickly grab our principled, move it down and let's go shift D to duplicate, make another principled. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go shift A, search, let's just get a mix shader. And let's just plug both of these principles into that mix shader, like so. And with them both plugged in there, now we can take this color ramp output and put it into the factor. And now these two are being mixed. So all you have to do now is go to each of these and then give it, for example, a like color. So I might make this one kind of like a metallic material just for demonstrating. And then the one down here, I'll kind of make like a blue, maybe make that metallic as well. But you guys kind of get the idea. So now we are taking advantage of this pointiness node and it is um, a really cool effect. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Um, you could use it in all sorts of different examples. For example, um, I'll just quickly show you um, one common one is for dirt. So let's just maybe make the inside of here kind of like a muddy brown kind of color. Let's not make it metallic. Um, bring down the metallic, something like that. And you, you know, if you added some texture to that, like some dirt um, texture or some rust, 
You could very easily add in, like in the occluded areas, you could add some dirt. You can mix it with other different types of maps to kind of break it up a bit. But this is kind of, you know, how the pointiness node works in a blender. If this is something new to you, I hope you've liked it and I'll see you guys next time for another blender tutorial.